Okay, that's working. Um, no, we're not supposed to go with the pet. Oh, no, no! Oh. Like I said, us at Komodo Gaming, uh, we don't follow many protocols. There we go. Uh, waiting for his... Oh, oh, no, 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 no! He's hitting us with the, uh, he's lighting us up with the machine guns. No, rocket pods. There we go. <laughs> Oh, there's a couple misses there. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Simple Planes. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and we are ready to check out some really awesome creations. Now, I've got some plans here today. Uh, the first plan is we're going to space because we have this awesome new shuttle that we're going to take up there, and we're totally not going to blow this thing up. But... Got some other plans here, got some really cool creations to show you guys. Uh, if you want to download anything that you see in this episode, it's going to be down in the description. And if you're enjoying Simple Planes on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Helps out my channel. And let's jump right into this. Oh boy, what kind of view do I need to uh, be in to launch a shuttle? This is actually quite amazing looking. I mean, it's got the full blown like launch pad and everything. You got the rocket, the boosters, you got the... Is there a cockpit here? What is this? Uh, I think this thing actually opens up. Okay, there's that, that, flyby, this, oh, this is the cockpit cam, okay. Um, <laughs> I can't really see out of this one, so I guess we're going, let's go orbit view. Okay, so this, like most shuttles, uh, they all use the little number pad down here. I think Seven's gonna launch it, actually, I think we gotta throttle up to launch. Seven's gonna release our boosters, and I believe uh, we're gonna release the rock. I don't know. I, I don't know the order I'm supposed to do this in. Uh, us at the uh, Komodo Gaming uh, Space Program, we don't follow many protocols. All right, here we go. We are ready to launch. Uh oh. Okay, that's working. Um, no, we're not supposed to go with the pet. Oh no, no. Oh. Uh, like I said, us at Komodo Gaming, uh, we don't follow many protocols. I thought it was 7-8. Maybe it's 8-7. Let's, uh, let's try that again. Alright, so I figured everything out. I uh, accidentally got everything in the wrong order because, uh, of course, why not? Uh, let's go ahead. Okay, let's throttle it up. Let's go ahead and release here. There we go. Oh, oh can we pull back? Uh, no, no, no. Try to keep it level. Ooh, that is a smooth looking launch there. Okay, so we got all of our boost. Oh, we're starting to, uh, starting to peak a little bit. I don't, I don't want to flip over here. Okay, let's go ahead and release those. Uh-oh. Uh, and release that. Okay. You know, we're not actually going to space, so I don't think it really matters when I release those things. Uh, they were starting to pull me back, and I didn't want to go back down towards the ground. So we are powered up here. That is so awesome looking. That is a really detailed uh, shuttle. Uh, also, by the way, the shuttle does open up. So if we hit the one key, which I don't know if this is going to be bad for aerodynamics. Let's go ahead. Does that affect us any? It's kind of surprising that just doesn't rip us apart completely. Uh, is there any other groups here? Oh, oh, that was the chute. Okay, so the chute is like four. Uh, hopefully, uh, I think I might have just wasted our chute. That's fine. Uh, I thought we can get this to open up. Um, let's go ahead and put that gear in. That's probably not helping us aerodynamics wise. Is there a... Oh, we are really high in the air. Hold on. Question is, what's our fuel situation like? Oh, great. We're, uh, we're at one. All right. So we are going to uh, float down. I hope I've got uh, my parachute situation figured out here. Let's go ahead and close those. You know, how have we not run out of fuel yet? We're still climbing. I mean, we are not stable at all anymore. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to have to make an emergency landing here, folks. Uh, some things have gone wrong, and... Oh, I don't even know what's happening right now. It's lagging for some reason. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, uh, let's kill... Let's kill our throttle here. And let's see where we ended up, because... We for sure have to be really far from the, uh, the main island. Alright, we are, uh, out of control right now. Question is, can I save this? Now, I'm trying to figure out how much fuel the actual shuttle has. Because I'm getting a 1%, but it's been setting there. And I think it was something to do with the actual boosters and stuff, possibly. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we would have blown apart by now, but oh, what is going on? Oh, look at the altitude we're losing down here. It's, uh, pretty rapid. Uh, oh. Oh, I'm seeing something. Which island is this? 
I mean, we might not have made it very far, but I'm kind of curious if we made it to like a, a complete opposite side, uh, kind of how we've been finding some of the uh, islands in previous episodes. I'm trying to figure out which island this is. Is this one of the normal ones? I think it is. Oh yeah, okay, so we've got to save this thing. I don't want to deploy my chutes yet, even though I've already deployed them. They went back in, I believe. Uh, I would like to... Is it... Are they broken? Oh boy. Um... Uh, yep, that was a that was a one-shotter there with the shoots. Okay, so what we have to do here, we have to try to regain control and get back down. I'm trying to figure out which island. I see a runway up there. I'm trying to point the nose up is what I'm doing, uh, and this doesn't seem to be working. I'm going to give it a little bit of throttle here. Man, if we can actually land, that would be the ultimate thing ever. Oh, there's actually a runway on that little island right there. Oh, I kind of want to hit it. I actually think we're gonna be able to land this uh, after that uh that tail spin there uh is this gonna be too aggressive to say let's go to this landing spot over here i really probably need more runway than this all right so we're gonna try to land over here on this island and we're gonna see what happens here you know i think we might do this i really wish i had some shoots right now <laughs> Uh, I kind of wasted those. Oh, we are coming in sideways, huh? Let's go ahead and go out a little bit. And go land on the tiny, because that would totally work. Uh, okay, let's kill... Killing the throttle down a little bit more. If I can just survive this, I'm going to count this as a successful emergency landing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on, nose. Come on, nose. Oh, just shut it down. Shut it down. <sighs> what? That didn't destroy my uh, shuttle? Oh, no. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. Wait, you're telling me the first impact didn't blow up the nose, but that one did? Ow. Well, uh, folks, uh, the Komodo Gaming Space Program has been canceled. You know, if I wouldn't have clicked the wrong button and deployed my chutes, I might would have made it in. Actually, I doubt it. I probably was screwed either way. But uh, that's a really cool creation. I think we're ready to move on to the next one. All right, so for our next creation, we're going to the water, and we're going to have ourselves a little bit of a fight here. So, this is a Hunter LCS. This is like, I want to say it's like a futuristic, I don't know if you would say it's a battleship, size-wise. Maybe you could get away with that. Maybe a destroyer. Uh, but this thing is completely loaded. It's got uh, missiles, it's got torpedoes, it's... <laughs> It's pretty massive. I, I don't know. It's just kind of futuristic looking. I'm kind of curious if this is based on something. Maybe from a... I wouldn't say real life, but maybe uh, some sort of show, TV, comic, something or another. But anyways, uh, we're going to be heading out towards the uh, the destroyer and the aircraft carrier out there. And we're going to give them a little bit of a fight here. This thing books pretty good. Uh, going about 54 miles an hour. Which is uh, pretty decent for the water. And plus this thing's uh, pretty massive. I kind of want to try out some of the some of the toys on it. So obviously you got our torpedoes. Kind of shoots out the front there. I'll reload all this before we get over there. Rocket pods. Hold on, let's uh this is group one. Okay, there's a turret that just appeared. That is sweet. Okay, let's go group two. That's a minigun. Group Oh ho ho ho! There's your missiles. Oh, the rocket pods are armed and ready to go. Let's shoot these off real quick. Oh, are they shooting them? Okay, I kind of thought they were going to shoot straight up. Are they shooting them out of here? No? Hold on. Oh, is that coming? Oh, it's coming out the front turret. Okay, I got you. So, it's got those. Does this have some sort of... Okay, so it does have uh, ways to avoid the missiles. I think we're actually going to sink all three of those ships. Uh, let's go four. Four is more uh, the Inferno rockets, I believe, or missiles. Uh, I think we have to have a lock. F possibly have to have a lock for those. Uh, what's seven? I don't see seven. Let's hit it again. Uh, six uh, seems to be lights. And five is... Five seems to be like turbo boosting or something. That's really weird. Is there a ship over there? Oh, it's the tiny. The beast is over here is what we're heading towards. All right, so now that we know this thing is armed to the teeth, I am really excited to get over there and have ourselves a little bit of a battle. All right, here we are with the beast. So we haven't opened up our pods or anything yet, because as soon as we do that, I'm pretty sure that's going to upset the destroyers here. 
So ideally, I'd like to hit the destroyers first. Uh, question is, how should we do that? Now, the destroyers do have rockets or missiles, but I do think that's only anti-air. I think everything else is going to be pretty much their cannon. So I got to be careful with that because that will rip us apart. All right, so let's go and pick up some speed. We're going to do a little bit of a, we'll call it a hit and run tactic here. Uh, let's go and open up all of our pods, get that ready to go. Turrets up, rockets are ready. Hmm, do we want to torpedo them? I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to come from the side, try to hit this one with a torpedo, swoop around to the back side, and maybe rocket the other one. <laughs> of course, that's what I say I'm going to do. Now, the question is if that's actually, you know, if that actually gets done, I'm not really sure. Oh, the cockpit's not too bad on this one. There's a view I'm looking for, chase view. All right, buddy. Let's, uh, let's do this. We're going to go to air to ground. As soon as I switch onto this mode, they're going to get ticked off here, so... Air to ground. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Is it gonna... Are they gonna... Okay, I thought they were gonna target us. Actually, I could probably hit them with the Inferno, can I? Uh, let's hit them with that. That's gonna... That's gonna tick off the other one. There we go. Destroyer 1's down. Let's go ahead and get the Inferno. Waiting for a lock. Actually, it's going to lock onto the beast first. Come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, that is too cool. Oh. Oh, we have a missile cam. Oh. Beast has been hit. I don't know if it's down. Uh, let's see. We need to cycle targets here. Oh, this got. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, let's go and fire those off. We're gonna swap two rocket pods. We're going right at it. No rocket pods. There we go. <laughs> oh, there's a couple misses there. Oh, that is too cool. Uh, that back cannon's still going. Let's see if we can hit it here. Uh, we came pretty close to it there. Is it going down? Let's light it up a little bit more. There it goes. The destroyer's going down. Hold on, let's check the beast. Beast is lit up. Beast still is, uh, looks like it's... Oh, it's still going. Hold on. Oh, this thing kind of turns a little wide. Let's try not to run into this one. All right, let's switch back to Inferno missiles. I might need to hit its hole, uh, but let's go ahead and waste a couple more of those. Okay, boom, boom. Oh, that was another one that was a waste at once. Goes torpedoes. This might be a bit of overkill here, but uh, she's slowing up. She's sinking. Uh, let's make sure she's done for. And here we go. Torpedoes away. Oh, boy. That's a bit of overkill there. Yep. There it goes. The beast has been taken down. I think this is the first time we've actually successfully hit all of them. Like, normally it's just we'll run and gun, maybe hit the beast, and maybe get one of the destroyers. But I think it's the first time we've actually taken out all three. That This is a sweet creation. This is definitely staying uh, in, by, in my uh, inventory. The question is, it's got air capabilities, too. Look, here comes one of the planes in here. Uh, let's lock onto it. There it goes, Fox 3. Oh, oh, we got it! Uh, can we lock onto this one? Is there a permanent missile cam that we can actually follow along? You can see the debris falling out of the air from the one plane we just hit. Uh, it's going for the tutorial plane. We need to turn this thing around. Either that, we might wait for the uh, beast to sink here. Is the destroyer gone? Yeah, the destroyer sunk. This is a sweet boat. Uh, oh, what are we locking onto over here? Oh, it's a Komodo jet coming in. I don't know if it's about to crash. It looks like it's about to crash. Yep, it crashed. Oh, this is too cool. This is my, uh, it's probably my new favorite boat. All right, so we're ready for our next creation here. This is, I think, called the Bombardier. I believe that's what it said. Uh, the writing here, I believe, is actually in an airport uh, in Germany. But this is uh, really cool. Uh, one of the reasons I actually picked this up, uh, the cockpit itself, check this out. Uh, is this... Look at that. The detail. Now, that's not the gauges that we've seen recently. There's a mod now that actually has gauges, but still, that is, uh, rather impressive. You got that, you got the co-pilot here. Uh, this thing is cool. Now, I'm kind of curious. Is this something that maybe... Oh, I like that view, actually. Is this something that maybe we can, uh, try to land on the beast? This is awfully big to do that with, but, uh, I don't know. Let's see how this thing flies. I guess I should be questioning that first. Alright, here we go. It's got to get some speed here. This is an absolutely sick looking plane. Uh, let's go ahead and get up. Oh yeah, that takes off really easy. Okay, let's retract the landing gear. 
Oh, that is smooth. That is incredibly smooth. Well, that is just cutting through the air like butter. Oh, I like this a lot. The, you got the shadow there. Of course, it doesn't have any weapons on it, but nonetheless, it's always kind of cool to check out uh, jets in planes like this, even though it's like, oh, we're not going to go blow something up. Uh, these need to be spotlighted, too. This is absolutely fantastic looking. Uh, I think actually one of the groups, if I'm not mistaken, which I think we can do it here and there, should be fine. Uh, which one is it? There it is. You can actually open up the, uh, the side door. This would be a little bit dangerous to do, of course, uh, while you're in air, but still. Oh, yeah, and the other side one opens up, too. All right, where is the beast? The beast is over there, so let's go ahead, point our nose back down. This thing's actually got a really, really nice climb to it. Uh, power-wise, this thing is not lacking at all. All right, I can see the beast up ahead of us. Uh, we're coming in actually pretty fast here. Let's go and get... Do we have a chase cam? There we go. Uh, let's shift that over. I want to be right... Right even with it. Alright, so we're going to start decreasing power here. I'm watching our miles per hour. This is a big plane. I think it'll fit. Its wingspan might be a little much. I'm hoping not to clip the tower. But I think we'll be okay here. So let's keep going... Keep slowing down just a little bit. Let's try to make it go a little bit to the right. Yeah, I think this is actually... This might work. Okay, we are losing altitude right now. Let's go ahead and deploy the landing gear. I don't know what, uh, what kind of speed you're supposed to be at before you deploy those, but I think this is okay. <laughs> All right, so we're coming in. Let's go ahead and start to level off a bit. Yeah, I'm really worried about that tower. Let's get up to about... Nah, let's go back to about 40% power here, and then we're going to kill it. I'm going to try to climb up just a little bit more. Yeah, we're lined up. Uh, this looks actually pretty decent. I don't know, maybe I should go a little bit closer camera-wise. You know what? I think we'll be fine. We're going to be fine, folks. This is going to work. So let's go ahead and start backing off. All right, we're going to completely kill the uh, throttle there. Oh, I don't want to kill the engines. Uh... Uh... This is, this is looking good. Don't come up short. Point the nose up a little bit. Oh, come on. Come on, okay, let's kill it. Because I don't want to roll off this thing. Oh, <gasps> beautiful. Be uh oh, no, 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 no. Brakes, 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 brakes. Oh, no. <gasps> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, that went completely. Like, I thought that was going to float there for a second. Nope, it didn't. All right, well, I almost feel like we could have done that. I don't know, maybe I should have applied the brakes sooner. If I would have landed or have gotten the wheels down, like, right at the beginning, I think that would have worked. You know what? Dang it, we need to try that again. All right, here we come in on our second attempt here. Let's go ahead and keep this in the orbit camera here. Actually, chase view. No, orbit. I don't know, one of these actually makes the camera shift a little bit when we hit the aircraft carrier. All right, so we're going to kill. Let's go about 11% here. We need to scrub off some speed. Uh, let's go. There we go. Uh, I'm coming in a little bit pointed to the right. I don't, I don't think I really like this, but we're doing it. We're doing it. Point the nose. I just watched a plane. Oh, plane just went out of the water. That distracted me. Okay, air brakes. Okay. Oh, uh, this thing, there's no way to get this stopped, is there? Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Stop. No, oh, yeah, I don't think this thing's stopping anytime soon. Ah, uh, it needs like one of those little hook grabbers. <laughs> that would be terrible for the people inside of the plane. <laughs> Better hope you have your seatbelts uh, fastened there, but yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. It's still uh, kind of cool to attempt. But anyways, uh, let's move on to the next creation. All right, it wouldn't be a Simple Planes episode if we didn't check out at least one fighter. So this is the Yak Yaya 11. Uh, this is the Robber? I, I don't know if I've ever heard of this plane. Uh, kind of, the front end kind of reminds me of a, a little bit like a an older MiG, uh, but I could be completely wrong. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn this in. Check it out. Uh, looks plenty capable. Looks like we're packing uh, four rockets. Is that the fuel tank or is that a bomb? Hold on, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Uh, air to air. No, it's got four Guardian missiles. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's get into the air first before we start targeting something and see how this thing performs. Uh, what about views here? Ooh, I like those offset cameras. Those are actually kind of nice. Uh, what about the cockpit? Okay, so cockpit's mounted, like, right on the front here. 
Uh, let's go back into chase view. Ooh. Oh, that lifts really quick. This is a fast little uh, jet. Uh, what kind of speed are we uh, carrying here? Uh, a little over 400. All right, let's go ahead and put it through its paces real quick. Kind of go for a little bit of a low fly here. Uh, I do apologize if the camera's a little wonky right now. I kind of like this chase view. Some people like the orbit cam, and I'm not... I like it for cinematic or slower crafts, uh, but something like a fighter jet, I need to be like locked onto the back. That way I can kind of uh, get a feel for where I am. Uh, this is sweet, though. I uh, I really like this. I like the, the scheme on it, too. It's got a very nice paint scheme. It's got the red star on it. Um, let's see. We're going to shoot through... Yeah, we'll shoot through these. Oh, yeah, that's so... Uh, it's really uh, smooth. Uh, some planes, when you kind of do this, they get a little... Uh, I guess the aerodynamics, they kind of get a little wobbly. Uh, this doesn't seem to have that. Uh, and it carries good speed, so we're going to do this. Let's go ahead and shoot through here. Gonna carry around it. There we go. Smooth. It's gonna carry through here. Uh, let's go full speed all the way. Let's go with the climb real quick. Ah, nice. We're gonna climb up pretty high, and then we'll uh, we'll dive back down. See what kind of speed we can get here. Ooh, I like the guns, the dual guns. Oh, it's uh, quadruple guns. Ooh, I like that a lot. This is two uh, two there, and the two on the. Uh, the first part of the wing there. Ooh, I like that a lot. A whole lot. Alright, let's go ahead. Wait. That's a volcano. Can you go inside of that? Hold on. <laughs> We're gonna uh, change change of plans here, folks. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's start diving. Oh, okay. Okay, the, the chase cam's not good from up here. Let's go ahead and get, let's get locked back in. Alright, let's uh let's make a little dive here. Oh, 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 a little sensitive on the uh on the uh, joystick here. Let's go ahead and go down and see uh, about this volcano here. Sure, there's either nothing in it or there's no way out. It would be kind of cool if there was a tunnel we can kind of shoot out somewhere. Uh, is it just... Ah, oh, it's just kind of got a disappointing bottom to it. Dang. All right. Well, it is time to do a bit of targeting here. Okay, so we got our target systems on. Uh, it's got four guardians. This doesn't have any ground weapons. No, it's just the four missiles. Okay, let's go ahead and launch. Let's get over here. The poor tutorial plane's gonna get it. Uh, we're gonna get in a, a pretty close to it. I don't want to shoot it from, like, way off in the distance. Alright, so it seems that the tutorial plane is... I think he just turned around. He just detected the missile lock. Uh, we're gonna get pretty close to him, because I want to see him blow up. You know, that's, uh, it's always the weird thing about modern fighters, how far you shoot somebody from. Like, it's not like a World War II fighter where you're right there, and that's why I like uh, World War II fighter games. Uh, oh, he's coming right at me, isn't he? All right, buddy. There it goes. Is it going to intercept him? Oh, missile cam! <laughs> oh, that was sweet. Uh, it's too easy, I mean, the tutorial plane. I guess I could spawn in a couple of these and we could have a little dogfight here. You know what? We're going to do that. Let's go ahead. We're going to spawn in another one of these, and let's see if we can have ourselves a little fight here. Okay, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. So I've spawned in two of them. That might be one of them right there. Hold on. Shift. Oh, we do have another one in the air. All right, we're going to give him a chance. We're going to give him a chance to lock onto us. He should. He's detected our missile lock. Oh, there we go. Uh, waiting for his... Oh! Oh, no, 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 he's hitting us with the, uh, he's lighting us up with the machine guns. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen the AI actually do that. I thought we were about to get locked on with the missile. All right, so we got ourselves a little bit of a dogfight going here. Let's, uh, oh, uh, we're doing a big circle around each other, aren't we? Uh, let's go full speed. We got three Guardian missiles left. I could, uh, pepper him with the, uh, old machine guns if I can get a lock here or get close to him. All right, he's going away from me. Uh, are we doing a big circle around each other? I think we are. If I can just get visual on him, I can get a lock on him. Oh, he's close. He's really close. All right, he's passing under us right now. Uh, maybe we should go into orbit cam. Do they have a follow? That would be nice to have, like, a lock on cam. To maybe the enemy crafts. And he's just right there. All right, I feel like we should divert. I feel like we should make him chase us. All right, let's go ahead and gas this up. <gasps> oh! Whoops. Did he just hit the... Was that him? That's the tutorial plane. 
Oh, uh, I guess we were uh, making a tight circle there and he couldn't pull out of that. That was kind of cool. All right. Well. Uh oh, is that another one? It just says enemy. Uh, let's go ahead and Fox 1. I don't know what we're intercepting right here. Let's go and light it up a little bit. Uh oh. Is that one of them? Oh, oh. Whoa! That was close. Okay, got a bogey on our rear. Eh, deploy those. Oh, that missile came so close. Which one is that? Oh, that's my old jet, I think. No. No, it's not. Okay, hold on. He just passed us. Oh, this is pretty cool. All right, we're having a little dog fight here. Looking for a lock. Uh, let's tighten the turning radius. He's he's getting some distance, so it's good. All right. I'm going to break off pursuit here. Uh, we've just been looping each other. I'm going to try to lead him down through here. I still should have some countermeasures left. Let's see if we can get him to either crash or to take the bait and chase me here. Where's he at? He's four miles out now. All right, he did not... He didn't engage me. All right, let's uh, turn back. If we can get a missile lock on him here, that ought to be pretty good. Uh, oh, yeah, he's coming. I think he's making a loop. I think he's coming back. Come on, missiles. We got two left here. Come on, get a lock. Get a lock. There's one. There's two. Let's go and release him. I don't know if he's got countermeasures. Waiting for him. Oh, I hope they didn't just hit the... They didn't just hit the mountain there, did they? Waiting, waiting, waiting. No, oh, got him. Got him. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised he didn't uh, engage me and try to actually chase me down there. Oh, boy. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Simple Planes. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Uh, got to do a little bit of dogfighting. We might do this a little bit more. Uh, if you guys have any fights you want to... What the heck was that, a missile? Is that my missile? There's a missile doing a loop there. Okay. It's, uh, I think that was mine. That's strange. But like I was saying, if you want to see some more dogfights, comment below. Let me know what you want to see. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time in Simple Planes. Thank you.